This is the Star Wars The Black Series in the 6 inch scale Heavy Infantry Mandalorian from Disney Plus's The Mandalorian. Here's a look at the packaging. I picked up this set at Our Toys. He's figure number D2. If you remember, D1 was General Grievous. Let's get him out of packaging. Here is Paz Vizla, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian out of packaging, and he is actually an amazing figure. I mean, if you watch The Mandalorian, I mean, who doesn't? This, you're gonna love this figure. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think Hasbro had enough production samples just to, you know, for reference, just to build this figure. It's absolutely amazing. I'm, I was actually very impressed with it. I didn't expect much from this figure. I thought it was going to be very clunky. I didn't even think it was going to be that poseable. But it's actually pretty amazing. Very, very cool. Anyone still asking me where I got this? This is from the amazing Yamaguchi. Marvel figures, Psylocke and Gambit by Kyodo, powered by Revel Tech. Anyway, he's, he comes equipped with a backpack that has a propane, boosters, and a hose that links to his Gatling gun or his flamethrower. I don't know what... This is his flamethrower. <laughs> so all the propane's connected to that. This is his Gatling gun. <laughs> Pretty neat. Okay, let's detach it. Uh, some assembly required. Okay, quick look at the, the accessory. Nice rotating gun with the hose. Uh, several handles everywhere, rotating uh, side handle right here. Pretty neat. Some paint apps right here. Just tons of detail on this gun. Nice flexible soft PVC hose. Flexible hose right here. So I guess the whole tank, sh everything shares in this tank. The thrusters, the flamethrower, and the, I guess the bullet, the ammunition. <laughs> anyway, pretty cool. Okay, on to the figure itself. Tons of detail on this figure. The color, um, I'm not sure if it's super accurate because we saw him briefly um, in that particular episode. The sin, anyway, um, but it's okay. I think it's good enough. He's got some weathering on him. Uh, very shiny, actually. Uh, the armor, I was expecting to be more matte like this one. This one's a little shiny. Good Beskar armor, I suppose. Some details here and there. Nice paint apps. Some weathering, more weathering here and there. Knee pads, shin guards, boots, gloves, shoulder pads. This is probably the only thing I don't like about this figure, much like we've seen with Marvel Legends, War Machine and all that. Uh, it, it's flexible PVC material that tends to get deformed if you get it posed, but it's okay. That's what Hasbro's going doing now. So they don't sacrifice possibility with detail. Even fantastic is this head sculpt. I love it. Absolutely amazing. Would have been nice if the helmet were removable, but they don't remove the helmet. This is the way. That is the way. <laughs> this is the way. So pretty cool. Articulation for the figures. Got a ball joint neck that's on another ball joint. So this is the new neck articulation for the Black Series figures. Uh, his torso can move up and down and sideways, but I'm having trouble twisting it actually, and I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. So not a lot of side to side action, just bending here and there. So a bit of a shame because that, that twist articulation would have been uh, essential to posing him with the Gatling gun or the, the heavy artillery weapon. Ball hinge shoulders, uh, ball hinge elbows, uh, wrists, this one goes in up and down and rotates. This one goes in and out and rotates, okay? Nice flamethrower detail right there. Ball joint hips, amazingly, the hips allow for a wide range of articulation, very cool. Soft PVC material for his waist cape, thigh swivel. Double hinge knees, almost 100 degree, 180 degree bend, maybe 160, 170. No calf swivel, ball hinge ankles with the rocker pivot. So very cool. Great, great uh, figure. And he is a deluxe figure, as you can see, D2. Much like General Grievous, but I guess there's more plastic to this guy. There's more heft to him. Uh, he's quite considerably bigger than most Star Wars Black Series figures. Here he is with Boba Fett. 
Amazingly, the helmet is the same, but even though the body, he's a little chunkier than this guy. And just for fun, here he is with his uh, good old buddy, Tony Stark. Hey, Rhodey. Rhodey, you in there? Rhodey. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, he's a Marvel Legends figure. So he's pretty beefed up. Really, really like this one. Uh, the figure is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. I was actually very pleased with it. Um, it is in the US a Best Buy exclusive, I think. I'm not sure if it's going to be available in stores like GameStop or or Toys R Us or something. I, I don't know. But over here in Manila, this has not hit retail. Toy Kingdom and Toys R Us, I don't think they'll have it since it's an exclusive. Um, the best way to get this one is through hobby shops like uh, Our Toys, and where I got it from, or Hobby Corner and pre-order that or uh, but i don't think it'll be available on retail anytime soon so there you go folks it's a great figure uh, best of luck to everybody hunting him down so there you go folks uh, i hope you've enjoyed this little video review if you did please let me know in the comment section below what you think of this new heavy infantry black series mandalorian from the hit tv show on disney plus the mandalorian Hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. This has been the Star Wars The Black Series Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Thanks for watching.